I sighed heavily, finding another unwashed dish in the sink. Alana, come here. I wait, hearing my daughter's door open. Then she speedily came down the steps to see me standing by the sink, with my hand planted on my hips. What did I tell you? If your plate is the only plate in the sink, please wash it! I said, pointing to the dirty plate. She rolled her eyes at me, and I felt a strong urge to scold her, but I held back. Whatever. She rinsed the plate and then hurried back upstairs into her room, slamming the door. I pulled the plate back out to examine it. There were crusts of bread stuck on it. I sighed again and rewashed the plate. These past few months have been so difficult. Ever since Arlana turned 15, her attitude has taken a turn for the worse. My friends explained that it is the rebellious teenager phase, but... She has just straight up ignored me, and even yelled at me. An hour later, Arlana came down, dressed. Mom, I'm gonna go hang out with Candace at the mall. I don't think so. You have homework and chores to do. I said sternly. She stopped walking towards the door and turned towards me. Her glare was ice cold, and I knew she was going to say something to attack me. It's a shame. I don't have any siblings, so you can boss them around, not just me. Arlana? I said in a warning tone, although my voice shook. Oh, sorry. You tried, but they're all dead. Because they knew you would be a shitty mom. Even Dad left us. I wish he took me with him so I wouldn't have to deal with your sorry self. She finally blew up, and I felt so much pain hearing her scream at me. She walked out the front door, slamming it, and I stood there, not really knowing what to do. I felt numb, walking back to my room. I sat at my vanity mirror, staring at my eye. Flashbacks of when I was pregnant with Arlana came to my mind. I had started to bleed in my third trimester, and I begged God, begged to let her live. I didn't want to lose another one. I prayed for a long time, and he heard me. An incredibly beautiful angel appeared before me, and I cried to take anything but her. He reached out to touch my face, and then his fingers dug into my eye. I gave up so much so you could live. I could feel my numbness transition towards anger. Well, give me back my eye. You can have the damn brat. I screamed, throwing my phone towards the mirror. It shattered into a million pieces before me. And while I cleaned it up, I swore I saw a darkened figure standing at the corner of the room. That night, I gained my vision back.